Hello guys, I'm Isel TPW, and it's official, Optifine has dropped from 1.15.2, Forge and Shader supported. So I did a video on this last night, and I wanted to show you how to download it and install it, and how to install shaders if you weren't 100% sure how to do that. And as you can see, this is 1.15.2 with Forge, and I have shaders installed. I'm using Chocopic 13 shaders, these are really good, and I'm also using Biomes Plenty with Terraforge. How do we install shaders and how do we install Optifine? So at this stage, I have to assume that you have Forge installed already, and the first thing you need to do is go to Optifine and go to their website. There will be a link in the description of this video. Click on the Optifine link here. You then need to go to Downloads, and then you need to go to preview versions because this is not a full release yet, it's still a preview version. And you will see here Optifine 1.15.2, this is pre-15. You can then press on download and you will get an add focus page here. Just wait for the counter to stop and click on skip here on the top right hand side. Once you press skip, it then brings you to the Optifine download page. Just click on this link here and on the bottom left hand side of your screen, you're going to see a download here. Press keep on this. Once that has been downloaded, you then need to open up your mods folder. You can find this in a number of ways. The best way to do this, if your files are unhidden on your computer, is go percentage, app data, percentage, and press enter, and it's gonna bring you into your roaming folder. Then press dot Minecraft, and then go to your mods folder. And then you want to go into your download, show in folder, and drag that download into your mod folder, just like that. You will then want to start up Minecraft again. And if you are selecting a world like, let's say Terraforged, you need to go into more world options, change the world type from Biomes of Plenty to Terraforged. Terraforged will automatically pick up Biomes of Plenty, press done and create new world. And then your world will load up. And as you can see, I already have the shaders installed. So I'm going to uninstall the shaders and I'm going to show you how to download a shader and how to install that also. The shaders I'm going to use for this download are the Silder shaders, Silder Fibrant shaders. It's going to bring me to the Silder shaders website. And once I click on the website, it's going to give me download. So I'm going to click on here for download. And as you can see, I've got Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.27 Lite. There's medium, high, depending on how powerful your PC is, but I would recommend that a good medium or high would be good enough for most PCs. So I'm going to download on shaders here press download. Again, I'm going to be diverted to an ad focus website. Wait for the countdown here, press skip, and it's going to bring me to the download page. I'm going to then press on download here. It's giving me a pop-up, so I'm going to cancel that. And on the bottom left hand side here, it's giving me my shader folder. It's a zip file, so that's fine. You don't need to unzip it. I'm then going to open up my Minecraft folder again. And this time I'm going to go down to shaders. And you'll see here shader packs. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to go to my download folder and I'm going to drag my Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.27 in here. I'm then going to go back into Minecraft and then I'm going to go into my options, video settings, shaders. You'll see there's a shaders tab here now. Then I'm going to look for Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.27 high. I'm going to click on that. The screen will then reload and I'm going to press done. And you will see then that I've got Silder's Vibrant Shaders version 1.27 installed for Forge and Minecraft 1.15.2. So that is how you download and install Optifine for 1.15.2 and also Shaders for 1.15.2. Guys, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be great if you left a like in this video. And make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you got on with this and if you've had any issues installing Optifine. It is still a pre-release, so that means it's not the full release yet. So just be aware, there may be a few bugs. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Isol TPW. It would be great to see you again in another video. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.